Hello and welcome to some VR gameplay. Today I'm going to be playing some Half-Life Alex, and I have a little task. I've got to carry this gnome from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. Join me about, I don't know, a couple of, an hour, an hour in or so and yeah. Bit of a pain. Not allowed to put it in my backpack, not allowed to put it in my inventory on my arms, but We'll do the best we can. So yeah, shoot him in the head. Doesn't break. And yeah, we'll 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 head on out and try and not fail. It's a pain in the bum to do, but is what it is. We're gonna have to manage uh, weapons and everything one-handed, or just chuck him on the floor. You can drop him on the floor, no problem. Drop him on the floor. Do what you gotta do, and move on like so, and then pick him up when necessary. Russell, yes. I'm good. How's Dad? They've got him on the train. He's on the move. You've got to find Fairview Junction before they get there. I'm working on it. Okay. Just gonna have a look around. I need to find some uh, gels to upgrade my guns. Little like biscuit things. You'll see when I get one. Oh, nothing in there. This is my first experience really in VR and I've got to say it's absolutely crazy. If you've never played VR before, just think of it as sitting, uh, standing sorry, in, in your own living room and then looking up and around. That's the scale of it. It's, you're in the game. It is absolutely ridiculous. My hands are to scale everything so if an enemy comes up to me, you know, and he gets all in my face, he is like 6'2", six, 6'4", six four and it, it's scary just having an enemy run up to you so if if some, something like a, a monster runs at you it's it's kind of freaky especially if one of those head crabs goes on your head it, so it's, when you cut out? it's not cool well right, we need to shoot these in the heart these are armored so you've got to take the hearts out when they show they're on the belly what did he say you ever meet a vortigon he said crazy work. Come pop up. There you go. And done. Uh, I do need to find ammo, so I need to loot all the time. Here's a clip. Put that in my backpack. Save it for later. All the time. Remember, carrying the gnome. That is absolutely nothing. Now I can place him down like this anywhere, but remember I have to come back for him. Let's get our gun out and shoot the padlock off, eh? Let's see if we can find one of those upgrade modules. There's another clip. And there's some meds there. I do have some in my arm inventory, so I'm just going to use this one. Stick the clip on my backpack. So when it comes to scale, what I'll do is I'll show you now, like this body that you see to the left on the table here, he is like the same size as me. So I've grabbed my hands and just try and grab his head and pull it around and pull him toward me. <laughs> it's scary. It, it's very, it's crazy how, how VR has come along. All right, we need to put the gnome down somewhere. If we just move the body. I don't feel safe leaving him here. Just stay there and be good. Let's take the lock off. We need to find an energy pack to put in to open the door. Nothing in the barrel. See, I have to physically look up. Oh, there it is. I have to look up. It's so big. Oh, we need to just cock that. So here's the energy module. Put that in the door, open the door, move on. There you go. And door opens. Oh. And that border got I met? He did give me a head crab to eat. Oh, right. What does it taste like? Tell me how you Russell, did. Russell. We didn't eat didn't it. didn't eat it. Right. Of course you didn't. Now that's that's the right decision. Always a good idea 
on uh, in this game to explore. Got to look for those for the ammo, and got to look for those upgrade modules. And that looks like a shotgun in the zombie's hand. There's some ammo. Look, just hidden. So we're gonna need to get that shotgun. Oh, that zombie has a shotgun. Right there. Look. So we're gonna drop him down in the winch, I guess. We need to store the gnome. Can we put it in the bucket? Sorry, gnome. Stay safe. So let's pull this out. Just let it go. Whoa. Okay, he's too low, so we need to just raise him a little bit. And then block the winch. Yeah. Let's get this shotgun. I guess we're gonna need to use the shotgun instantly. I can hear things hitting the walls. Yeah. There's something behind those walls. So we get the shotgun. Thing is... I don't want the can. I don't want to use it straight away. I can't reach it, so we just pull it over. Oh, we need to empty a hand. And Guys, grab it. Hurry up and load that thing. It's getting louder. Oh, I don't have any ammo. Maybe there's some on the body. Yep, it's in packets. Now we're going to need to put them in the backpack first. And then take them out. And cock it. I don't want to use it though. Okay, his first enemy up close. Just pistol whip him. Boink, you're done. Quick load. Oh. The gunplay is very satisfying in this game. Stick a few extra. Make sure, huh? I do like the shotgun. Hey, <laughs> whoops. Come here, gnome. Come on. Like, it's so annoying that I have to take him from the beginning of the game to the end. Is what it is, though. If I want the achieve the very uncommon achievement I'm gonna do it look at this there's one of those uh, modules the upgrade the uh, gels for that noise I right, just got to look around it's dark in here and there's some of those, um, I can't remember what they're called. Things that uh, pull you up into them and they eat you. We don't want to mess with that. Okay, I can't move the crate. I don't want my gnome to go up in there in case I lose it. Let's feed it a head crab. Mm, there you go. <laughs> Disgusting. Go on, take it. Look at that. Just munches on them. I do not want to go up there. And yuck. Lovely. I didn't drop anything. I have another one. There's two more. Just grab that one. Don't want to hit the spike. Uh, eat that. Uh, another one. Yummy. There you go. My aim is terrible. Trying to hit that bullseye there. Can't do it. Okay, we need to leave this area. There's a jackhammer look. It's very light. These hats, by the way, you can put these on. And, well, if I can put it on. Some of you, maybe I'm already wearing one. But if you put them on and those those things that suck you up in the air, uh, grab you, it takes your hat off. So you kind of, it's, it's a safety net. Got a frisbee. Wee. <laughs> Do we have any loot around here? I bet there's, yeah, there's some uh, shotgun shells there. And if you bend down, and yeah, there's nothing in the box. Okay, let's load up the shotgun. I like how you can flick the shotgun up. Look, like that. Awesome. Oops. His face is healed. 
I shot the gnome in the face and uh, discombobulated him and it, it's gone back to normal. He dead. No more bags. Oh, oh wow. I don't want to use my shotgun. Not for head crabs. There's something up there. So just smash that on the floor and get a mag. Straight in. There should be one in the barrel, so I don't need to cock it. Whoa. And... Yeah, I'm gonna have to bring out the shotgun. Whoa. It's so satisfying, look at that. Oh yeah. Boom. Oh no, 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 I don't want to use it for that. Okay, loot. Okay, that's a gun upgrade station. Oh, oh I missed. So this is not good, he's on, he's on my head. Oh, head crap. Head crap. Yeah. Oh, thank God. What can I do? The state. It was on your face and it, oh. Yeah, it was disgusting. It was. I have some shotgun shells uh, still in my back, remember. And I didn't load that, did I? Four shells left. Okay, cock it, Johnny. There you go. Bye. So we can check in the box. And we got a... There's one of those upgrade gels. Zoink. We need to put the gnome somewhere safe. Somewhere where I don't forget it. Can we put this on top of the health station, maybe? Yeah. So this simple puzzle for these. Get your tool and uh, just got to line up all these, turn them blue. Not rocket science. And we can upgrade a gun if we have enough gel. I want to upgrade my shotgun. I want to get the max. You can upgrade it to the point where you put actually put in like a, where you can attach grenades to it and stuff. Oh, I've got the very early ones. I've got 14 gels. I'm gonna grab some off my backpack. We only need 10. And yeah. And just like magic, it will undo. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, that should come in handy. And I got a laser on the end. Don't shoot the gnome. No more mags. Oh. So I've left the gnome behind. I can come back. It won't despawn. I need loot. There has to be loot up here. Dead. And I'm out. Hi. Hey, you're dead. Obliterated him. Whoops, stay there. Nope. Put that in. I will need to cock the gun. Another upgrade module, nice. Last time. I think I left something on the floor, you know. Can't be bothered to go back. I think it was uh, more shotgun shell. Okay, so we need to get the gnome. Drive by gnoming and I failed. Maybe there's something down here. What's that? Is that a gel upgrade? It is. So I've got about six of those now. And we've got... Um, health. That's a little bug in a jar. You put it in the health station and... And, uh... It squashes it and then you inject the juice and, yeah. Makes you fully, fully, fully charged. It's pretty disgusting. Okay. I mean, the amount of time the head crab went on is... I feel that we should use it. So look, it goes in. Pull a lever down. 
You just see it now, and it will squish it. Poor thing. And put your hand on, and let it inject all the goodness in. And we're good to go. At the cost of that little bug's life. Right, what do we have here? Is that another gel? Looting is key, guys. Looting is key. There's a box there. I'll get that in a minute. On the shotgun shells. Come on. We'll come back and have a, uh, an extra loot before we move out. Too dark. You'll need a flashlight. Yeah, so I need a flashlight. Right. There's an enemy up there. I'm going to throw this as far as I can. And then when it comes, I will shoot it. And we've got another gel. So alert him. Oh, there's two. I shouldn't have waited. Oh, what was that he threw at me? Okay. So, come on. There you go. Popped them both. I got me gnome numski. There's more gels. It's good. Alright, we'll move out and... So we've got to find... A flashlight. Got a little puzzle here, look. Is there anything in there? There isn't, is there? What the hell is that? Oh! I shot him in the air. And done. So yeah, we've got to follow the cable lines. Open the door, like so. Um, can we go open this door here? Damn gnome. Okay, door is locked, so we need to open the next shield and, and go forward. Let's use our tool, look. Follow it all the way around and flick it. There you go. Okay, this is going to require two hands, I think. Yeah, and we got a monster. Okay, I can see the flashlight there. Oh god, cock it, Johnny! Son of a bitch! There it is, and we got some loot. I should leave the gnome up here. Oh, broke it on the end. The gnome is broken. There's more loot in here. Ooh. It is dark. Everything all right? Nope, I'm good. I'm good. More gel? No shotgun shells? Last four shells. Gun's full, so I only put two more in. I just walked past some loot. Get that in a sec. Look at all this loot. What's going to happen? I think what I'll do, guys, when I get the flashlight, I will end it for today. And if you want to see some more VR gameplay, I will uh, upload some more, no problem. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I've got to take the gnome all the way to the end. Maybe you'll want to see if I actually achieved that. Who knows? Let's just get out of here. There's a lot of enemies. It's poisoned me. It's really dark. But yeah. It, yeah. Can you just talk? Tell a tell her story. Why? About anything, literally anything. Well, I think that given our situation, your irrational fear of the dark is actually quite appropriate. Yes. You know, I can give you easily a hundred reasons to be terrified. Okay. <laughs> that was my fault. I'll yeah. Be more specific next time. Big fan of this flashlight. 
And it, not unlike yourself, is also sensitive to the dark. Oh yeah? Meaning it should go on automatically when the lights go out. Cool. Oh. Alright, yeah guys, I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, like I say, if you do want to see more, let me know. And uh, thank you for watching. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye for now.